Hi guys, welcome to Classic TV Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, first of all, I want to apologize because this one's going to be late. Uh, last night I was doing this and the battery and the microphone went <laughs> so right in the middle of it. So I started editing and all of a sudden no voice. You probably liked it better, but this is the one you're getting. Uh, so I'm up early in the morning doing this one. And today it's on Leave it the Beaver and Star Trek, the next generation. Now, how do they how do they bring them together? Well, it's Lumpy's mom. Let's take a look. Majel Barrett met Gene Roddenberry in 61, a screenwriter for Have Gun Will Travel. She was an actor coming off small roles on the Harry Morgan sitcom Pete and Gladys and a Fabian flick called Love in a Goldfish Bowl. Two would fall in love and begin a lifelong relationship. It's just one catch. Roddenberry was married. A couple years later, he was working on his own original series, The Lieutenant. Roddenberry became a love affair with Nichelle Nichols. In a bold move, according to the biography, The Impossible has happened, the life and work of Gene Roddenberry. He brought Barrett and Nichols together and confessed he was in love with both women. And you know, still married. Kind of complicated, yeah. Around the time in 64, Roddenberry cast Barrett as a lead in his newest endeavor, a pilot episode for a science fiction series called Star Trek. Perhaps you heard of it. <laughs> Barrett portrayed number one, uh, the second in command to Captain Pike, Jeffrey Hunter. Spock was aboard uh, the Enterprise, but Barrett was in the Spock role. NBC grumbled about Barrett in the role, asking for a man to play the first officer. Test audiences also reportedly complained about Barrett. Roddenberry wanted his girlfriend, one of them anyway, on the show, and in the end, after the pilot flop, he conceded and recast the show. Barrett joked that Roddenberry kept Leonard Nimoy on as Spock and her as his girlfriend, as to preferably to the other way around. When Star Trek finally made its series debut, Barrett found another role aboard the Enterprise. Slipping on a blonde wig, she portrayed Nurse Chapel, as well as the voice of the Enterprise computer. Nichols, of course, was sitting at a computer as communication officer Uhura. Nice to know they could all get along, right? At last, in 69, Roddenberry divorced his wife and remarried uh, Barrett, who remained a constant presence at his side, not to mention at Star Trek conventions and further Trek series. But, kind of rewind a clock here for a minute. Before her and Roddenberry even met, in 1960, Barrett uh, landed one of the earliest screen roles on Leave at the Beaver. Despite being a rather significant side character, the Ohio native appeared in just one episode, Beaver and Violet. In that tale, the Cleaver, uh, Cleavers head out on a family picnic with the Rutherfords. Ward works with Fred Rutherford, played by Richard Deacon of the Dick Van Dyke Show. Beaver and Wally know the Rutherford kids too. Well, because the son of Lumpy, he's their bully turned pal, and Violet, well, Beaver sweet on, pile, on Violet. Uh, Barrett turns up as Gwyneth Rutherford, mother of two Lumpy and Violet. She gets a few lines, climbing into the back seat of Rutherford's convertible next to Ward and sitting at a park bench. Deacon appears in about a couple of dozen Leave it to Beaver episodes, and Violet's in a few, and Lumpy, well, he's in a load of them. Yet, Mrs. Rutherford was those few scenes, so it's easy to miss that as the future Enterprise legend on a picnic date. And at the beginning of this, I think I said Star Trek The Next Generation. I didn't mean that. I mean, Star Trek The Original Series. There you go. Uh, so, Gene Roddenberry. Stud? Stud. You decide. Uh, please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Get on over there and subscribe. I posted it a long time ago today. So, you've probably already been there. But if you haven't, go over there and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, have a great day. God bless you. And I'll be praying for you.